Teams 5 leading the way. A 13-year-old boy is recovering after he was shot outside his school. Thanks for joining us here at noon. I'm Stephen Albright. And I'm Kelly Rippin. The recent violence changing plans for high school football tonight. Now, this all started yesterday afternoon outside of Taft High School. And WLWT News 5's Brian Hamrick live for us in the West End with the new restrictions at the stadium tonight. Brian. Yeah, Kelly, well, the game between Taft and Mount Healthy will be played, but there will be some very limiting restrictions and let me show you why because the stay uh, this is a stadium where they're going to play the game this is Stargill Stadium and it is right across the street from Taft High School you can just walk across and there's the high school well the 13 year old who was shot was shot near the high school last night that is the reason why they have decided to make uh, the changes for tonight the teen was hit in the arm a suspect has not been arrested. It all caused a major scene outside the school. Last night, the Batavia Schroeder game that was supposed to be held in that same stadium had to be completely rescheduled. Tonight, there are restrictions for the Taft Mount Healthy game. Only parents and guardians, pre approved and pre approved adults, will be allowed inside the stadium. No students will be allowed in the stands. Adults attending, should bring an ID. Now, Mount Healthy fans will enter the Adams Road side of the stadium, and Taft will use the uh, Hamilton Avenue side of the stadium. Meanwhile, tonight's uh, North College Hill game against Miami Valley Christian, that was canceled as well because of an incident last week, gunfire outside the stadium at North College Hill. And for Mount Healthy students, it's a double dose because just last week they had to have school uh, their classes canceled because of a social media threat unrelated to any of this. So it's been very difficult for students trying to navigate this football season and classes. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5. Yeah, now Brian, are there any plans that will push football schedules next week at all? Yeah, I talked to the folks with Mount Healthy about that, and right now they're saying they don't know of anything that will push beyond this. This is a temporary situation, just trying to get things calmed down right now. Uh, so beyond that, they'll have to look uh, further into the week. But at this point, it's not planned. Kelly? All right, Brian Hammer reporting for us live at noon. Brian, we appreciate the updates. Also here at noon, the Amanda accused.